This is it, boys. Home for the next four hours. Frisco, are you sure this won't be a dead crowd? These charity balls can be pretty slow. Yeah, well, we'll just have to liven it up, okay? If anyone can, the riffraff can. Yeah, where do we bring the equipment in? Oh, Lorena said there was going to be some valets around to help us out. Hey, hey, kid, kid, do me a favor, okay? Go out to the van and help unload it with these guys, okay? You ought to be able to pick up a few more bodies out there, all right? Yeah, find a place for us. We'll be back. All right. Hey, don't drop anything. Careful. Surprised at how many people showed up for this. Why? It's tax deductible. Anthony, please try to be a little charitable That's tonight. That's why I'm here. Uh, well, I'm obviously at the wrong party. Cheapskate. No, I'm just broke. Uh oh. As I said, I'm obviously at the wrong party. Come on, can we go? Anya, we just go. Please, I knew this was going to happen. You can handle this. Just put a smile on your face. Everybody loves a smile. All right, even a false one. Just ignore the Andrews. Believe me, that's what they're going to do to you. Hey, hey, you guys made it. Great. Hi. The band's setting up in the lounge now. Well, we thought you might want some youthful support. Mm. Yeah. What do you say we get away from the establishment crowd? Okay, I'll show you the setup. I would be more than mm -hmm. delighted. Let's go by the punch bowl first, the spiked one. Well, it's oh, right on the way. Not a bad idea. Why don't you uh, grab my arm tightly and I shall lead you to safe. Well, oh. I guess I'll follow. <laughs> You know, you ought to quit looking at them. Just torturing yourself, don't you think? I can't help you. It's over time. You forget about them, huh? I am trying. I really am. I tell you what. Why don't you and I go out and get some fresh air? Frisco, let's do it. Duty calls, so I'm going to do a... Yeah, go right ahead. I'll be fine. Ready? contribution that you make here is 100% tax deductible. So enjoy the food, enjoy the drink, and then spend, spend, spend. I'm going to take the shrink. Price is on the tag. There you are. I'm the red convertible. Sorry, I forgot to leave the keys. It's, uh, real gold, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I forget who donated it, though. It's really unique, isn't it? Well, uh, wear it in good health. Yeah. See you later.
please. Uh, what, what happened? There has been a dreadful accident. What? Oh, now, Commissioner Scorpio wants everyone to stay put. The police are on the way. Police? What, what are you talking about? Are we, are we rolling? Uh, Lorena, um, please, we're talking to Miss Lorena Sharp, who is the founder of the Avalon Spa. Lorena, could you possibly tell us exactly what happened? It was awful. Are we on the air? Uh, yes. Uh, keep going. Um, where did the accident take place? In the pool area. We were just there. Uh... I really don't think I should comment at this time. Uh, thank you, Miss Lorena Sharp. Come on, guys, let's wrap it up. I'm going to get down. Right. You okay, Jenny? Come on, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, everybody clear out, please. Camera's closed. Careful. 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 No one's to leave until the commissioner gives his okay. Why don't you stay there? Everybody, please, if I could have your indulgence What's for going just on? a minute. Just a minute. Nobody is to leave. Everybody is to wait right here. It'll all be explained to you shortly. Please. Thank you very much. Please. Tell us, if and when we get out of here, you guys want to come by the apartment? Okay, I think that'll do it. Thank you very much. Okay. Fellas, thanks for your cooperation. I think that's all I need no you for now. Okay. No Good luck. Uh, Remind me <laughs> to put a two-hour time limit on our next gig. We'll work on this stuff next week. All right. All right. All right. Great. Thanks for the beer. Yeah, no problem. Thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks for coming by, man. Later. Okay. See you there. Right. Never again. <laughs> Get some sleep, huh? It's okay. Okay.
get in here? What do you want? Hey, wait a minute. Ah, damn. Wait a minute. Now listen to me. You're in my apartment and you're going to tell me why. You got it? Or I'm calling the police. How do you take it? Black. Cream, sugar. Any combination thereof. I think it's about time that I found out what this is all about. I could call the cops, you know. I should. I mean, you broke into my apartment. You tried to rip me off. They can put you away for a long time for something like that. Kid your age wouldn't last long in prison, if you know what I mean. So much for scare tactics, huh? What is the big deal with this ring? I mean, it's only worth 20, maybe 40 bucks. I mean, you'd be a lot better off stealing radios or car stereos or something. Why is this so important? Huh? All right, kid. It's the cops you want. You got it. Officer? Yeah, I'd like to report a burglary. One more coffee, pal? speaks or it speaks anyway something does was that you stay away from me no not not to you straighten this out a little bit there's nothing to talk about convince me sorry i'm leaving no you're not you're gonna stay right where you're at don't you give me orders What do you know? All right, are you satisfied? Is that satisfy your curiosity? Baby, I'm getting more curious by the minute. Well, on that note, I shall leave you. No, you don't. What's it to you if I leave? You still have your ring. No damage has been done. Well, how do I know you won't go rip somebody else off? I won't. I promise. I'm not a criminal. Oh, just a petty thief, huh? No! You tell me, then. I can't explain it. I'll give you an easier question, okay? What's your name? Felicia. Felicia what? It's not important. You say so? So, um, what else do you do besides park cars for a living? I'm not really a valet. You don't say. Look, I don't have to explain myself to you. The ring was mine and I wanted to get it back. Well, there are easier ways, like asking. Listen, Felicia, that's it, isn't it, Felicia? Look, you're going to have to be a little bit more communicative, okay? I'm going to call the cops. All right. The ring belonged to my grandmother. I was looking for it, and someone said it was going to be at that charity ball. I know I couldn't afford it, so I decided I'd have to steal it back. I mean, what else could I do? Well, at the moment, you could try to tell the truth. Why should I bother? You wouldn't believe me no matter what I tell you. Well, you've got to admit you haven't given me much cause to trust you, huh? All right. My grandmother isn't dead. She's still alive. 
There's a start. The ring was stolen by my cousin, the black sheep of the family. You're not the black sheep? You mean there's somebody worse? Are you going to let me finish? Oh, please. Sorry, continue. This is getting very good. I told my grandmother I'd get the ring back for her, but before I could, my cousin sold it. My grandmother wanted to buy it back, but I knew she didn't have the money. So you stole it. Shame on you. What would your grandmother say? Well, the idea wasn't to get caught. Well, it usually isn't. Well, at least now you believe my story. Not a word. All right, okay, I'll buy the ring back from you. I'll pay whatever you want. We'll do this in installments. First, All I want is a little honesty. Not much, just a little, just so I can start to trust you. It's trust you want? All right. Hey. Oh! 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 My ankle! <laughs> I can't move it. It must be broken. You'll be all right once you get off it. Those men! What? You didn't see them? See who? What are you talking about? They're the ones trying to get the ring. Right. I'm telling the truth. And I'm telling you I don't believe the fairy tale you invented. You've got to help me, Frisco. I'm helping you. I'm taking you to the doctor so he can look at your ankle, okay? Aren't you? Yeah, I'm Frisco Jones. Tell him it's important, will you, please? All right, I'll get right on. Thanks. Come on. You're a heavy one, you know. Do you mind? What? You're breathing down my neck. Sorry. Why didn't you have an emergency doctor handle this? Uh, Felicia's a friend of mine, and I, I wanted somebody that I knew working on her. Okay. You wait in the corridor, and I'll examine her. Yeah. Okay. I'll be out here. Okay. Well, it's broken, all right. I'm going to get Dr. Andrews to set this. No, no. No, we have to keep this quiet. Only, only you two can know about this. Please. What a guy will do for his brother and his women. I just hope Grant's this understanding. Okay, we've checked four, five, and six. What do we do now? We work our way down. First this floor, then two, then one. You got to be here somewhere. You didn't sign that. Yeah, so did Grant. He does all his work. Told him we were in kind of a hurry. Yeah, and I asked her why, and she wouldn't tell me. I'd just like to get home and get some rest. It's been a tough morning. See, that's all you had to say. Some crutches against the wall, and you're free to take them. Uh, listen, kid, I need a word with the doc, okay? <clears throat> so what were you doing, folk dances? Listen, is there a way to get out of this hospital without being seen? Can't you ever do anything like normal people, Frisco? Well, I try, but it never seems to work out that way. Now, what about the exit? There's one in the basement. It's supposed to be only for doctors, but about half of them don't even know it exists. Sounds perfect. No, it sounds melodramatic. Now, what is going on with you two? Tune in tomorrow. I'll see you later. You know, it looks like you've got a lot on your hands with her. Now, you call me if you have any problems, and you don't call me when the bill arrives. 
Because it's going to be from Andrews anyway. Let's get out of here. Not so fast. Those creeps that were after you, well, they're still outside. They're the determined sort. I got that impression. Do you believe me finally that they're after me? I believe they're after you, but I don't necessarily believe your story. God help me, Frisco. I know. I'll give you whatever you want. All I've wanted from the very beginning is the truth. You get it. When? Before or after those guys rearrange my face, huh? Well, the time is right, which I think you'll agree is not right now. Okay. I'll get you out of the hospital and then we'll negotiate later, all right? Can you walk on those? I think so. Now, you follow me. They're joined at the hip. I can't let them find me. Hey, I said I'd get you out of here. How? Well, through the basement. It's the safest way. And how are we going to get there? We can't even get down to the elevator. They'll see us. If you're panicking. What do you expect me to do? Be calm. Keep quiet. I'll think of something. What? I don't know. What are you doing? I'm thinking. What? Well, I don't know yet. Better think of something. Well, I think a lot better when I'm not being harassed, okay? None of this would have happened if you hadn't have broken my ankle. Me? You scared me and made me fall. You snuck into my room and tried to rip me off. That ring belonged to me. Look, do you want to get out of here or not? Well, then pipe down. There's got to be something. I've got it. What? Lie down. What? Just do as I say and lie down. What for? Lie down before I knock you down. What are you doing? Getting us out of here. How? You just shut up and let me handle this. You don't have to be nasty. I tell you, try to help somebody. Don't get his aggravation. Yes, this is Dr. Jones. I have a cadaver up in the therapy room. Where? And I need an orderly up here immediately to take it down to the morgue. Thank you. What are you doing? Getting us out of here. What has the morgue got to do with it? It's in the basement. That's how we get out. Why do you send for an orderly? So he can take you down. Why don't you do it? Because that would be suspicious. Don't worry, I'll meet you down there. But what if you don't make it? They put me with all those dead people. Well, just trust me, will you? I'm afraid of dead people. Have you got a better idea? Well, I'm thinking. Well, tell me about it later. You have a lousy idea. Shut up and don't breathe. Here, you have to make room. Orderly, Dr. Jones. You needed a cadaver taken down to the morgue? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Sorry, it took so long, Doc. The yeah. service elevator was out. I'll take it from here. It's all yours. Did you check the emergency room? Yes, I was told she was on her way up here. Room 704. Could you tell me if she's in her room? Not in 704, she can't be. That's what the doctor said. Oh, well, 704 is Mr. Hobson's room. We, uh, don't put women in with men. Well, perhaps he's been released. Oh, no, he's in no condition to be released. What's your niece's name? Well, that's all right. I, I probably have the wrong number. Well, I can track her down for you. No, 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 no. Look, uh, the family's downstairs. I better go talk to them. Thank you. Okay. going on so nothing's going on and what the nurse say she doesn't know anything about her yeah but the guy downstairs yeah, said we got about the guy downstairs we've been had yeah well that's just great now what do we do they must have found some way to get around us come on maybe we can catch him guys chasing them. Fine, but we do remember I just broke my ankle and I've never used crutches before. Well, don't think about it. Come on. That's your solution. Don't think about just it. Just start moving, right. okay? At this rate, I'll be out of here by a week on Tuesday. Do you always complain this much? I usually don't have this much to complain about. I find that hard to believe. You know, this really isn't any fun for me. Well, this isn't a barrel of laughs for me either. But at least I got away from those two guys and if you move your tail, you can do the same thing. Then what? They're only going to find out I gave them the slip and keep looking for me. Well, hide out someplace. Where? And how am I going to get there? I don't have a car. Shh, I okay, 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 okay. Just be cool, all right? What am I going to do? Well, right now I'll bring the car around so you don't have to walk so far. Then what? It's a good question. You got any money? I know better than to ask that question. Give me my ring. My ring. I can't afford a hotel. Well, I'm sure in the hell not going to pay for one. Let me think. What am I going to do? I can't run all over the city with those men chasing me and these... Will you shut up? Thank you. What about your... Quiet! Pet? I couldn't take you to my place. Those guys would find out you were there and then they'd know where I live and they'd be knocking on my door. The... There's a vacant apartment in our building. It was just painted. Nobody's going to move in there for about a week. So what do you think? Am I allowed to talk? Briefly. Is it safe? Well, it's safe enough. The problem is, is we gotta get you in there somehow. You mean we'd have to break in? Well, we'd borrow it for a while. I don't like it. Well, it's the plan. Take it or leave it. Suppose I don't have any choice. No, you don't have any choice. It's safe. It's rent-free. You get a chance to work on practicing your crutches there. To think. I've reduced my life to living like a common criminal. And for all I know, that's what you are anyway. I am not. Shh. Whatever. Now look, I'm gonna go get the car and we're gonna get the hell out of here. Just stay put, you understand? Hang in there, kid. We're almost through.
Hello, Terry. What? It's still dark in here. You get enough light. For what? Eye strain? Where's the electricity anyway? There isn't any. Why not? Because nobody lives here. Hmm. I can't stay in a room without lights. You know, you ought to be happy. You got a place to stay. I was able to jimmy that door open and get you in here. You sure no one will know I'm here? Positive. There isn't much in here. Hey, well, well at least you got a mattress. Huh? Something to sleep on. I hope it's clean. You ought to be happy you got that. Get over and help me. You sure ask a lot, you know that? I'm not used to these sorts of conditions. Yeah? Well, consider camping out. I've never camped out in my life. Well, you're in for a real treat then. Here. Go right next to your bed here. electricity? Forget it. We can't have those two guys find you. And if the lights worked here, you couldn't use them anyway. Somebody might get suspicious. I'll see you in the morning. Wait. What? Stay a while. For what? Please don't go. I'm afraid of the dark. Come on. Please don't leave me. I'm scared. Why me? Hmm? All right. On one condition. What? That you be quiet and not say another word. Oh, <laughs> be Quiet. I'm very tired. I'll sleep over here. Damn thing. It's all springs. No wonder they left it behind. Better sit now. One easy answer. No. But no. Not for Scott Joe. Save your man cup. He has to help everybody else. Sorry you're so uncomfortable. a little better. Not much. Good night. Good night. How's your ankle? It's okay. It's helped me a lot, Frisco. Thank you. you a few goodies. Like what? Toothbrush. Soft. Toothpaste to go with the toothbrush. Soap. And I got you a compact, but I had to guess at the color. Thanks. 
I could use some coffee. You know, these cushions, they're not cutting it for me at all. You know, I didn't sleep very well last night either. My ankle just kept throbbing. Yeah? Is that all that kept you up? What? Well, I don't know. I thought maybe your conscience might have been bothering you. What do you mean? I'm going to help you, but I want to know what's going on. There's nothing going on. We both know something's coming down, and I want you to tell me what it is. I don't have to tell you anything. Can't you just trust me? Now, trust is not the point here. I'm involved in something, and I don't know what it is. I mean, I don't even know if it's illegal. Would you believe if I said I wish I could tell you? Well, then why don't you? I can't violate a confidence, but I can tell you this much. That ring is rightfully mine. Really? Well, I don't think both of us agree on that. It's mine. And those two men will do anything to get it. And I mean anything. Well, if you think you're in such danger, why don't you call the police? I can't. And you're not going to tell me why you can't? Don't you have any sense of adventure? Oh, yeah. I just like to know what the odds are. You see, when I play a game, I want to know whether I'm going to win or lose, maybe. Well, that just depends on what happens. You know, you are just a monument of facts and figures, aren't you? Just a little honesty. feel better if I get cleaned up. Right. <laughs> Listen, um, I'm gonna go and try to rip off a key from the janitor. I'm gonna go up to the apartment. You're gonna for leave me? I'm You're just gonna, gonna go get some me. dishes and some pots and pans. I'm gonna be back though. Promise? I'll be back. situation and it's kind of like camping out. Yeah, it's nice weather for it. For what? Camping. Yeah. So, uh, hey, how was last night? Pretty fun, huh? <laughs> last night? Yeah, but well, you didn't come home. Or... Did... No, no, I didn't come home, did I? Oh, uh, it's none of my business. Just a little friendly curiosity. It was no big deal. Oh, believe me, with my batting average lately, anything's a big deal. So how was it? <laughs> what? How was what? On oh, my date. Um, yeah, well, I wasn't asking you about the weather. It was fine. Fine. Ah, somebody's at the door. Josh, don't. What? Um, somebody's at the I know. Don't answer it. Why not? Just... What is this all about? Well, it's kind of complicated. Oh, obviously. You know the girl I was with last night? Well, she's having trouble with her family. She's hiding from them. So who, who's at the door? Shh. Those are her two brothers. You see, they're looking for her, and they're rough. Well, uh, hey, why don't I cover for you? You slip in the room and... Huh? Why not? Okay. Look, I told you they're rough, right? So watch yourself. Use your head. Yeah. Oh, man, sorry, I was sleeping, I didn't hear you. What can I do for you? Welcome to the guy who lives here. <laughs> You're looking at him. 
No, 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 no. Not you. Guy named Jones. Frisco Jones. Oh, hey, yeah, Frisco. Yeah, too bad. You just missed him. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he left about a half hour. Well, what can I do for you? Where'd he go? Yeah, out of town to, to visit some friends in the country. Where in the country? He didn't say. I mean, he's going to be back in a couple of days. You sure you don't know where he went? I told you, he's out in the country. He didn't say exactly where. These friends of his, they got names? Look, search me, okay? Because I don't know. I mean, the guy just took off. I mean, I'd love to help you, but, you know, I've got other things to do, and I don't follow his personal affairs. Now, if you'd excuse me, I, I mean, I gotta go. I gotta change. I'm late for work. Yeah, well, uh, you just tell him we'll be back, okay? Well, who shall I say is calling? You'll know. They're down the hall. They could be waiting by the stairs. Yeah, they're not exactly the friendly type, are they? No. No, they're not. Listen, no. thanks a lot for covering, man. Now tell me what's going on. Why would this girl have brothers like that? They're gorillas. I know, I know. Like I told you before, you know, it's pretty complicated, and she asked me not to say a word to anybody, okay? Yeah, that's the way it has to be. Thanks a lot, you're a real buddy. No problem. Where have you been for so long? Those thugs came by my apartment. Oh, no. Don't worry, I made sure that they left. Well, what if they saw you come up? They because, didn't. But they might have followed you up to the door and Will you we just relax for a minute and let me explain? My roommate, Joss, made sure they left. He followed them down the street and made sure. Sure? Not sure. <clears throat> um, look, I'm gonna make us a very good brunch here. Brunch now? Yeah. How do you like your bacon? What are you doing? Oh, fry us up some bacon. Crisp? You don't fry bacon in its own grease. That's horrible. I always fry bacon. Not if I'm going to eat it and don't. You can put it in the oven and let it drain as it cooks. Okay. What are you doing? Turning on the oven. No, you don't bake it. You broil it. Broil. Mm -hmm. yeah. And be sure and put the, um, the pan about six inches from the heat. Otherwise, it'll get all ruined. What do you want me to do? Measure it? Did you bring eggs? I did. Uh. Yes. Ah. Uh. How about two of them? Okay? I don't want that when you broke the joke. So what? Well, I like my eggs sunny side up. How about scrambled? Be sure don't whip them real hard. You have to whip them very lightly, lightly whip, you know, like this. What? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. What? Okay, before you, before you put them in the pan, you have to heat it up so that, you know, the eggs stay moist that way. Hot pan coming right up. Oh, my. Um, that flame is too high. It's going to burn the eggs. They're, gonna, they're not going to be moist. What? what are you doing? I'm starting over. Good. What about toast? What about it? Didn't you bring a toaster? With no electricity? No, I did not bring a toaster. Well, what about orange marmalade? All right, that did it. Look, I am not your cook, and I'm also not your whipping boy. You understand? Where are you going? You just remember, okay? I tried, but you were ungrateful. Of... Look, you want something to eat? Yeah, of course. Well, then cook the stuff yourself. Marmalade.
come bearing gifts. What time is it? Play. Ah, uh, the old lantern. What's all that? Well, I got a bunch of chicken. And I got some biscuits. They were soft. Ta-da! Rocky Road ice cream. And orange marmalade. <clears throat> How come? Well, since I'm such a lousy cook, I figured I'd get the next best thing. Take out, ready to eat. Nice of you. Well, this is my uh, official declaration of truce. Okay? Definitely, I'm starved. Are we friends again? Only if I can say something. Go ahead. He was going here without you. Yeah? Um, it just gave me a lot of time to think. About what? Well, for one thing, I'm just really sorry about what I, how I acted and what I did. Forget it. No, I really mean it. Well, come on, dig in, huh? <laughs> well, it's... I think I should just blame it on my ankle, too. You know, it just really bothers me. Consider it done. And all these things that are going on, all these men after me and everything. Well, come on, forget about it. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. Voila. Wine, to seal the truce. <laughs> I even remembered a corkscrew. Is it white? What? With chicken, it should be white. You're doing it again. Oh, I'm sorry. Really, I... You know what? You know what? You want to know the truth? I don't care if that wine is red, white, or blue. It was really nice of you. And you know what's more? It'll help me get some rest. That's what I need most is a good night's nice rest. I haven't rested in a long time. <laughs> This'll do it. Wake up. What? Wake up. What? Those guys here? Did you hear them? Did you hear them? Did you hear them? No. Then why did you wake me? Because I'm starving. I want you to go down and get me some breakfast. Oh. You want me to go out? I can barely move. Oh, will you be okay when you get on your feet? Come on. Oh, these cushions feel like rocks. Well, no harder than this mattress. I was having the worst dream. You want to know what it was? Sure. I was dreaming that there were about a hundred fat men with sledgehammers. They were all beating on my back. And now I know why. Oh. Well, at least you slept. Yeah, all of about 30 minutes. Well, that's about 20 minutes less than what I got. You have to put up with this. I don't. Look, if you don't like it, give me my ring and get out. Game is getting real old. What game? First I leave you, then I don't. Try being a little nicer, we could play something else. Be nicer? Listen, I'm bending over backwards as it is. See, there you go again. Look, the next time you tell me to walk, I'm going to do it. Be my guest. I mean it. So do I. But just... Leave me my ring. <laughs> Baby, what I'll leave you is high and dry. You can't leave me. You owe me. Oh, this is a new twist. Why do I owe you? I didn't break my own ankle. Well, I didn't invite you into my room in the middle of the night. Well, I was just getting what was mine. And it wouldn't happen if... <laughs> oh! What's the matter, your ankle hurting? It's really starting to hurt. Sit down. Maybe I ought to pop a few more aspirin, huh? Yeah, I know they're not going to work. I need something stronger. Like what? I don't know, maybe it's prescription painkiller or something. Oh, no problem. I'll just hop into my neighborhood drugstore and take my pick. Oh, I'm sure you can think of something, please. Prescription? Yeah. There's no way. You know, breaking and entering isn't my idea of fun. What about your brother? No, no, I can't get Tony in a spot like that. What spot? I got a broken ankle and I really need some medicine. I wish I had the medicine for the pain you give me sometimes. Oh. 
I've never heard anyone complain as much as you. Me? Moan, moan, moan. That's all you ever do. Can't you just do what I ask and stop whining? You know, I think I am going to resign my prestigious position here. I mean, you know, I bend over backwards for what do you think you are, some princess? The hell with it. I'm going to work. What about me? You know where you can go. Oh, what about my breakfast? Have some cold chicken. For breakfast? You can put some of your orange marmalade on it. How you doing, Frisco? I could use a few nights sleep, but other than that, I'm doing okay. Well, those late night parties will kill you. Yeah. You know, I hope I live to find that out. Listen, I got something I think will wake you right up. No, I don't ever touch the stuff. No, 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 just it's a proposal. Listen, I already know you're married. <laughs> well, you listen to me now. Ginny has been promoted. No kidding. Yeah. What's she doing, running the station now? No, but it wouldn't surprise me if she did one day. She's a driven lady. Yeah. So what's her new gig? She's anchor woman. She's handling the early morning and the late evening newscasts now. Brutal schedule there. You know. Well, so far she's been up to it, but she can't handle that and team time both. Well, does she take time out to eat and sleep? Yeah. You know, <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is we're looking for a new host. You interested? For how long? Temporarily. Or until I get sick of it, right? Or until... We put someone else in your place, whichever comes first. All alone, right? I'd be doing this solo. Yeah, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, I'll host teen time for a while. Except I'm only going to sign on for temporary duty, right? Yeah, well, well, I know how you feel, but we'd love to have you. For sure, I can't, just can't deal with any responsibility, either professionally or personally, or right now. <laughs> well, you have to grow up sometime. <laughs> really? Really? Too bad. Is he going to do it? Yeah, we just got ourselves a new host. Good All thing. Right. We tape in five. I'll be there. Five minutes. Oh, Frisco. Hi, Terry. Hi. Nice to see you again. Yeah, it's nice to see you. How you been, huh? Fine. Where have you been keeping yourself? Oh. Around, you know. What brings you to the uh, land of make-believe, huh, the studio? Well, I was hoping you would let me watch you tape the show. You're glutton for punishment. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'd love to see you work. I'll tell you, my night act is a lot better. Mm. Any time. Yeah, um, you know, this place is real boring. Oh, not to me, no. I, I can't tell you how excited I am. You know, that'll last about two minutes, kid. Oh, I doubt it. Oh, the show looks a lot better on screen than here, I'm telling you. Well, I'll take it in person, anytime. Suit yourself. Hope you don't fall asleep. Watching you, never. Good job, Frisco. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Hey. Ginny who? Piece of cake, man. It went all right. You look as though you've been hosting shows your whole life. Yeah, well, you know. What can I say? You want to do another one? I mean, want to get caught up? No, no, no. We don't need to push our luck. No, we only need the one show for We today. got a backlog then, right? Yeah, well, Ginny left us with a few in the can, and this way you can kind of ease into the schedule. Okay. You're the boss. Whatever. Why don't you take the rest of the day off and celebrate your smashing debut? Yeah. I gotta take care of a little business. Huh? Oh, yeah? What's your name? <laughs> well, that was wonderful. Oh, you didn't fall asleep, huh? Oh, not at all. I was fascinated. I can see why they wanted you to host this show. Yeah, I was the only, only clown they could get to say yes to it. Um, you're very good, though. Did you ever consider a career in television? Well, once. I was six. I, I wanted to be on Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> well, I can't picture that. TV's loss is the music industry's gain. Ah. Well, the people that hear me sing don't really say those same things. Well, I bet you're good at that, too. In fact, I bet you can just do about anything you want. Except be on Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> well, um, why don't you buy me a pizza somewhere? No? You busy? Well, actually, I, I um, would love to. You know, sometimes you get...
peeps on your mind early in the day and you can't lose the thought, you know? Uh -huh. I've been dying for it and I know this great Italian restaurant, Dino's. Thin crust, lots of cheese. What do you say to that? Oh, uh, that'll be just fine. All right, listen, um, I'm gonna go to the men's room and clean up just a little bit and then we will go have some pizza. Great. Be right back. All right. Your gentlemen callers are still hanging around. Where? They're following me. You saw them? They came by the studio. I was taping the show. And I didn't think they were there because they're big fans of teen time. They're following you to get to me. Right. Then they could still be out there outside. No, I don't think so. And you lost them? Yeah. But I wasn't too proud of the way that I did it. Well, what difference does it make if you did it? Well, unlike you, I'm not used to using people. You know, we need to get out of here because they're going to be coming sooner or later. Well, I have an idea. I don't believe it. Why don't we be honest with each other? You can start. All right. I'll tell you the truth. I'm really a princess. So what do you think about that? Very nice to meet you, Your Highness. I'm Prince Charles. How do you like the disguise? You don't believe me? Look, of all the lines you've used, that is the stupidest stupid. one yet. Stupid? You're the stupid one if you don't know the truth when you hear it. Well, I'm still waiting to hear it. I don't know why I bother. Well, I don't know why I do either. I mean, all I get is lie after lie. Well, then just get, go away. Just get lost, all right? Gladly. I can take care of myself. Well, there's nothing I would like better. Well, then just go away. Just get away. I don't ever want to see you again, all right? Enjoy your reign, Your Highness. Yes. Well, at least you could say thank you. Don't put yourself on. Are you losing me? Unfortunately, no. Why? I've always been a sucker for wounded birds. At least the quiet ones. So if you keep your mouth shut... I'll stick around.